Greetings to you today. This is Raymond Mayfield coming to you through this broadcast. I share gospel things and I'm happy to share the good news of the Lord everywhere I go. I want to talk to you about fear or faith. They're just the opposite of each other. And I want to talk to you about what can happen to us. You know, so many people have been falling into a lot of fear. And there, the Bible tells us that many people will be, men's hearts will be failing them for fear of things that are going to come up on this earth. And a lot of people are afraid about the economy. They're afraid about all the news they're hearing around that. Fear just seems like it's gripping a lot of people. It will destroy your relationship with God because God does not want us to live in fear. 1 Timothy 1 and 7 says, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of sound mind. God wants you to have power in your life. He wants you to have, uh, you know, a, a mind that can think of the right things and not negative things all the time. The way to, to contradict fear in your life is faith. Faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen in your life. If you want to grow in the Lord, establish faith. You get faith by reading the Word of God. Faith will bring you about a great production if you read the God's Word and what it has contained in there. God loves you this morning, and he wants you to have faith. Believe God for the impossible. When you pray, with God, all things are possible. There's not anything that cannot happen if you'll pray seriously about God and seek his face. Seek the Lord while he may be found and call upon him while he is near. And have faith he is going to answer prayers. Some people, I think, pray prayers and don't even think have any faith that God is going to answer that, but God does answer prayer. There's one thing that God has promised in the Word of God, and that is He will answer our prayers if we pray. So instead of living a life in fear, instead of living all the time like something bad is going to happen to you, get a positive attitude and have faith in God. Study His Word and pray. Trust Him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. It's my been and my pleasure to be with you this, this video and share with you this morning. May God bless you and strengthen your heart today. In Jesus' name.